We got this. There we go. Oh, I, we're not feeding the ducks, Sean. Oh, crap. We, you know, we we're, will. We're fine. See, no one's even watching yet. We're good. Whew. But when everybody watches it back, they're all going to just laugh. They're just going to laugh at you. They're all just going to laugh at you. <laughs> they always do. They always do. But yeah, we're good. Well, that was an exciting pre-show, Sean. That, Agreed. That went, that went well. I got to go on a car ride. <laughs> I I thought it was pretty amazing. It was. It was. It was a good time, you know. Was, yeah. You know. <laughs> but yeah, we we have the one and only Nikki Rosella on the show tonight. She is the the. She's doing all the things, Sean. She is just doing all the things. So many things. Good gosh. I don't even know. I, I bet she never sleeps. I bet that's her her trick. She's she's like a robot or a vampire or both. Maybe she's a robot vampire. Total AI. She is just AI. Nikki isn't even here. She's like a floating yellow flower of AI goodness in the in the world. So she's just there creating stuff i don't know yeah <laughs> just pure awesomeness my computer just froze that's pretty good there we go all right so it's let's doing get going. are you ready to get going i've been ready let's do this let's do it talking beards the podcast Meet your hosts, Aaron D. Johnston, Sean Glander, and producer Natalie. What's going on? Everybody is talking beards world. Andrew's here. Kyle Waller's here. Most importantly, Kyle Waller's here. Birds are robots and the world is flat and the eclipse was an illusion. Thank you, Kyle Waller. So what's going on, everybody? Uh, did I already say that? I'm Aaron D. Johnston. I lost you track said of it. what I was doing. <laughs> Kyle threw We're me off. We're doing a show, oh, and Kyle what? Waller threw everything off. But... Freaking Kyle Waller. But yeah, what's up, everybody? We're here. We are uh, going to talk to Nikki here in a little bit. As I said before the show, she's the creator and doer of all the things. And uh, we're here. We, you know, we had a really productive pre show. We got a lot of things accomplished like three minutes before the show. It was fine. And uh, Sean's in a new studio. What's up, Sean? Hey, what's happening, everybody? I'm Sean Glander. I am happy to be here. And I am in an updated studio not new same old closet i'd say i'd say aaron has about as much new stuff with his flower over there as i do with these cool little led lights popping around but hopefully they're gonna stop making me fade in and out throughout the entire show so far so good sean you don't look like a floating head and you your your hot new closet studio is making mine look old and haggard and outdated vintage and your vintage my studio is vintage. now vintage thanks to sean glander with his cool lights <laughs> guadalupe's here look at this i've I seen it i've seen it we we like her we like her a lot nikki probably likes her more than we like her but that's that's okay I we, I we like guadalupe and nikki equally as much so uh i don't know now what <laughs> how was your week know. what did you do this weekend i don't know i asked you first oh you did yeah so well, how was your weekend yeah because i feel like i stomped on you there by popping all up in there but you know, you know. That's, that's my, okay. my weekend was was pretty good my weekends are sunday and monday so it's not like a legit weekend but oh yeah it See, was that, pretty darn good i'm still adjusting to your weekends yeah i will i will too. get on your schedule and figure it out but like i talked to you yesterday and you're like yeah i'm just hanging out at the house you want to call me i was like crap this is his weekend it Damn is it. so i got i got day before show off which is super convenient when aaron's free <laughs> yeah and and 
and when Aaron remembers that you're off, I, I, yes. I free myself up and we talk about Absolutely. things and, and we communicate and, and we try to continue to communicate. So we, we have a decent show. And one and of these don't stink it up for everybody here watching all 20 yeah. of you at the moment. I mean, there's a lot of people watching. Jeff Harris is popping in. Uh, Justin Cheatham is popping in. Guadalupe again. Don Shea. All the people. All the words. And uh, John Abraham's an antique. There we go. Thank you, Jeff Harris. <clears throat> anyway. But he's uh, like one of those antiques, like the old Avon bottles, right? You know, like the antiques that you, you don't really see much. <laughs> like the, like, uh. Wasn't the Avon bottles? They were like, oh dang, where they're like cars. Green, gr no, there was the cars one. It was like dark. Cars green. are the best. Yeah. I feel like John Abraham's like the cars of the Avons. That's for he sure. Is. They're the He's, best. He smells like an Avon car. John Abraham. Yeah. Freaking Corey's here. What's up, Ghost? Look, did you see this other week? Were you here when I did this? But Ghost is here with us. Um, what's left yeah. of him? So what? I yeah, what's left of Corey? He's like down to like a pound now. He is. Um, what did I do this week, Sean? I have no idea. Um, I moved. Yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't do anything. We didn't even I, go over. We just went over what my days were, but I didn't do anything, people. <laughs> Sorry. My, I my hip out and I'm done. So we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Sean, you know, created lighting in his studio and he, he put spark plugs in a Tahoe. That's it. See, Aaron I, did cooler things. Let's, I, let's talk about I moved, that. I moved the booger out of the corner of my shop and I, I got it on jack stands and I've, I have done something to it every day since I moved it into the middle of my shop. I went out there for like 10 minutes today, so I didn't get a lot accomplished, but I did do something. I, I used a grinder on the truck and everything. So I did like real stuff, real stuff. What? Oh, Natalie said, check out my mullet. I don't know. It's, we did this last week, right? It was like she said, just like super, super showing off. Guadalupe wasn't here last week. <clears throat> Is my hair really? I think it looks way longer than it did last week. You know, I don't know. It's it's getting some uh, bounce to it. That's when you know it's starting to get some length when it's when it's getting some uh, bounce when it bounces. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, Kyle Waller, the booger will ride again. Corey thinks that the booger is his and I'm going to give it to him in my will. Um, maybe I will. Who knows? I don't have a right. Will, so maybe it would just right? be like a joke that I put Corey in my will to get my truck. And then like I dive a massive heart attack the next day and freaking Corey ends up on my damn truck. <laughs> No, I'll come back and haunt him. You're, You're gonna, not going to do any of that. Well, uh, I don't know. I should probably get a will, though, for real. Maybe. No, I'm, we, we, everybody now. should think about that. I'm like 41, Sean. I'm freaking, I'm the same age as like old people. This You're so weird. Old. <laughs> I feel uh, so out of touch with you. Natalie wants me to show her flowers. This is what Natalie's been she, doing this week. You should show the flowers. They're so, rad. So she, Made this one out of pipe cleaners. This is her hot new hobby. And she is creating a garden inside of our house. And but a garden that does not perish. It doesn't. So this one is made out of like this uh, flat foam stuff. And then she heats it up and it rolls. And I think this one's the same stuff but shiny. And then there's a bunch of duct tape ones. And there's an abundance of these flowers inside of our home these days but she's happy it's it's giving her something to do and they're pretty and look it's just floating there and that this was honestly uh an accident it was what does that mean that that it's floating here like this oh okay. because like i thought I the like, flower i'm like yeah no. she just does I random like, things what do I accidentally do like, made i made you this flower and i'm like cool i'm put it in the boot and then it it just leaned itself into the camera. It was like, hey, it's perfect. I like cool. what it adds. I like them. They're she. They're, none of them are exactly the same for sure. And there's, ha and uh, there's apps you can charge to show your wife's flower. People will pay me money to sh look at this. It's called uh, Flower Finder. Flowerfinder.com. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, 
Natalie's flowers will be on display on flowerfinder.com. Um, I don't know if that's a real thing. I'm and and, and you can thing. pay us twenty nine ninety five a week, and she'll make flowers. A week? Yeah, man. There's freaking look. That's that's you know that's big stuff right there. Only flowers. It is. It is. It is. It's it only is. flowers. So yeah, Natalie will start her only flowers account, and she will be putting those on there for thirty nine ninety five uh, every five and a half days. It's you know price price went up price went up. <clears throat> um, I don't know what else do I got going on, Sean. I work on um, <laughs> besides rusted rotors. I don't know. We, we, oh uh, Jesus, you were on the phone with me when I did that. Yeah, so I jacked my truck up and I realized that my wheel <laughs> wouldn't spin. So I was like, it must be stuck on something. Nope, my rotor was just so rusted from where it's been sitting for an abundance of years that it has rusted itself to the brake pad. So that's pretty cool. That's something I get to address. So like we talked about, yeah, I might get it running, but there's going to be a freaking bunch of stuff I can running and do. moving are two different things that, two that totally different, to deal with. Two yeah. Totally yeah. different yeah. things. Um, something else that we were going to kind of highlight on here, but it's about time for Nikki, but we're, you know, Something got out online this week and people were questioning, how do you end up on these beard yeah. shows? Well, yeah. back during COVID, there was about 47 beard shows and it was super easy to get on them. But these days, there's not very many, uh, a handful. I don't even know. I'm, there's a handful. I know the villains got one, Talk of Beards, and there's Beard Family Network. I think the PAX got one. Um but yeah, if you want to, if you've got a beer competition that's coming up and you want to promote it on our show, reach out. Um, please. Just please. Yeah, man, super reach out. Like if you specifically want to come on here to promote your thing, we would be honored to have you on our show. But unfortunately, there's about 4,000 beer competitions every single weekend. And there's no <laughs> way that neither one of us want to sit here for six hours every night and interview the same people about the same things every single well, week. Well, and it's really hard to organize <laughs> every every comp every weekend, especially even when you're trying to do it ahead of time where it's a couple weeks out and you're just you're just trying to catch everybody, you're doing everything, and then you have plenty of people that are like reaching out saying, hey, can we do a little whatever? Mm -hmm. it, it just gets tough and, and things do get lost in the shuffle. Yeah, man, you especially know? when, you know, we're, we have a rotating co-host deal going on right, right now, and we're still trying to figure Talk of Beards 2.0 out here. And, uh, yeah, if if you if you want to come on the show, reach out to me. It's that's it. It's I'll you know, Taxi Phil's done it. He he's reached out to me on like a Monday and been like, hey, I need like five minutes of your time. I got breaking news. I'm like, come on the show, Taxi Phil. You got breaking news and. I think his breaking news last year was they did a kids category for the first time. So, you know, it's important stuff. And we, we yeah. want everybody to be able to utilize, uh, you know, the Talking Beards Network or the shows and, and get their word out. But, man, it's there's a it's lot. Hard. There's a lot going it's on. Hard. Yeah, it's super hard. So, you know, all you got to do is focus. That's it. It's, it's I'm not going to lie. I personally... You know, I, I have reached out every time for my, my beard comp. So I didn't know that I wasn't cool enough just to be invited. Speaking of your beard, <laughs> so, Sean Glander. You want, but you I, want, am, I am just Sean Glander. So, yes, look at that. I do have one of these coming up. You want to talk about it real quick? Um, we can touch on it. I mean, yeah, I, I really need to get my stuff together to announce a lot more things. But uh, yeah, June 15th, Spokane, Washington. Uh, back at the rock beards on the rocks. We'll be back at the rock. That's where the name came from. It We're is. Going home. It is. Thank you, Jeremy Smith. So but yeah, cool. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that one a whole bunch coming up. We'll also talk about this one, a whole bunch coming up. Yeah, yes. All the good competitions, but yeah, that's, that's the moral of the story. We, sometimes we miss things and we can't get everybody on. So if you specifically want to come on, just reach out. That's it. The yeah. end. Are we ready? Are we, we ready? are ready. I mean, I think we have a lot of awesomeness coming up here. We have all the awesomeness. She's going to do a great job. She's, uh, there's no reason to be nervous. You can stop super hyperventilate breathing and bouncing and everything's going to, yeah. Two thumbs Driving. up, lady. Everything's going to go great. So without further ado, Sean Glander, let's get into this. 
<clears throat> Got to clear my throat for this uh, laundry list of things that, that this young lady has throat. been doing. Tonight, we have Nikki Rizzola on the show. She is the CEO and founder of Not Rich But Enriched. She is the owner, I'm going to say CEO again, because I like that, of a store barber salon. Uh, She is the promoter, the probably creator as well of the extravagant shit show, beard and bike and car show down there in Nolanville, Texas. Uh, What what is that? That's uh, coming up on like the 28th or something. I don't know. This month. It's this month. We'll find out. But she's she's doing all the things. And like we joked about, she must be a robot slash vampire because I don't know how she sleeps. But we're going to bring her in here and we're going to find out everything there is to know about the one and only Nikki Rosola. What's up, girl? How are you doing? Hey, Nikki. Hey. This is my life. <laughs> this, this is my life. It makes me just super excited to be here. Like, I can't stop smiling. Like, it's been a long time coming. Yeah. I, I do really have, I do not sleep really well at night. I do. I'm kind of an insomniac. Um, Cause you're doing all the things and you're planning all the things. I'm, I have a lot of help. Yeah. Well, I I'm have sure you, I'm so sure many amazing people that are around me. I have my family that supports me. I have friends like you guys that inspire yeah. me the bearding community is just so inspiring so you almost can't sleep on stuff like this like if you have an idea you got to run and go get it or it's just gonna i have adhd and a little bit of autism so like if i have an idea in my mind like i got to do it immediately and i have to or, start it or you'll so. or you'll start doing something else and you'll never get to the original thing i think i think all three of us kind of struggle with that one a little bit extremely but. <laughs> and and the fact that the brain never shuts off oh. literally never shuts off no it doesn't i have lots of things in my head <laughs> so do you you only sleep and recharge during the solar eclipse so you should be ready to go you just went through totality where you were how was that it was so it was so the best word my son makes fun of me, but it, it was epic. It was so yeah. epic. It was so much it was so cool to be like a part of. Like we thought that we were gonna have no way to see it at all. And the city made such a big deal about it. I actually ended up having to cancel an event that I was working on with my nonprofit organization because you know, stuff fell through and actually was kind of like a gift in the sense because this weekend came and there was no one, no one. They told us that we we're going to have 500,000 people like just in this general area in central Texas and nothing. And it was like we scared everybody. So like nobody was coming out to the parks. Nobody was attending all of these things. But but I was at home on Monday with my friends and my family, and we were just in awe of like how the clouds would move. And and I hope that I didn't mess up my eyes anymore, but it was great. We had great. So pictures. it was overcast there as well. It was overcast, but you could see the ring of fire through the clouds. That's crazy. My friend, and then it like opened up right as totality happened. And my friend was able to capture pictures. It was just like, I couldn't have asked for a better day. And uh, it was really, it was really cool. Really how long cool. Was, I wish I would have had more friends here. How long was your totality there? Four minutes and 23 That's seconds. so crazy. I was watching it all on TV because, you know, <laughs> I'm old and I watch the Weather Channel. And uh, yeah. they were, they were all like, you could see like where all the reporter people were along the line. And they're like, all right, we're going through it. And they'd like start crying and stuff. And then they'd go to like yeah. the next city and there, and then that reporter would do it. And then they would just go up the line. It was pretty cool. So I like yeah. six or seven different views of it going to full yeah. darkness. They were in like football stadiums and they were in uh, like the Indianapolis motor speedway. And there was a ton of, ton of people. That were my friend was in Illinois. I'm not sure where, but a friend I have a couple friends that traveled. Um, we I was a part of some of like the eclipse stuff that happened here. Um, my friends over at Rainbow Heart Studio were commissioned to do a mural, 
and I was privileged to volunteer and work on the mural. So I painted like the dots for stars in it. It's so cool nice. that you have all these hundreds of people coming in, taking pictures with something that you had a hand in. So no, I guess, no, the answer is no, I don't sleep. And and if I Maybe knew. Maybe I am robot. I don't like AI. You are. You are. I knew like I'm figuring it out. And if I My knew you were going to bring, bring up your, if I knew you were going to bring up your art, I would have, you know, put that picture of me and Natalie with your, with your dots. Oh, yeah, no. We, that is my friend, Crystal Owen. She's one of my board members. Um, I am surrounded by talent and inspiration, including the beer, in the bearding community. So um, I guess I'm here for a reason. So I guess we should just you get are. to the meat and potatoes because I could just lallygander with you guys all day. Well, we'll, we'll lallygander some more, but you already brought up your, your board of directors. Can you, can you touch on uh, your, your charity, not rich, but enriched, tell everybody what that is and how you got started and, and a little bit about that. Yeah. So here in Copper's Cove. Holy crap. Are it's you storming okay? there. It You're is good. storming here. It is yeah. a complete thunderstorm outside. Oh, so the AI is glitching out. I do have back <laughs> I can see it back here. And it's like, I have like windows. I can hear the storm and I'm like, oh God, it's gonna, don't take me out. So uh, right as we were talking about not rich, but enriched, my, my dad's staring at me from across the way. He's like, you got this. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> so um, I saw a need in the community. I saw a need in this community, uh, in my community, in Copper's Cove, Texas. Uh, it, it lacks a lot of things. Uh, inclusivity. It lacks um, sober environments that people can be social at. It lacks a, a accessibility. So I... Am I glitching? You, you are, but you're... you're... 95 sound is loud and clear yeah your your sound's fine you're just your video's glitchy but yeah there you go just come out and come back in she'll be fine so we'll we'll let her reboot her, her ro she's robotness fine. but yeah the bearding activity book she she's doing and and like i said you know she's she's this one is, is coming up and uh yeah man she's just doing all the things and this is the whole band no sleep yeah, she doesn't right. sleep. You know, she she cuts hair all day. She's an author now. Let's let's see how this goes. Let's see. She's back. Oh my gosh. You're you're back. Am I back? Oh god. Okay. Am I cool? You're still glitchy, but uh -oh. you're back. Okay, I'm gonna try. So we are just trying to create this space so my nonprofit helps by enriching our community by enriching people focusing on mental health and accessibility for people with different abilities um, we're going to promote a sober and active lifestyle we promote arts and culture within our community we um we help other nonprofits and their organization needs. We volunteer, we fundraise, we do whatever we can to just help whoever we can help whenever we can help them. Um, but at the end of it all, we are trying to raise money to build a, or invest in a community center right here in Copper's Cove because there's nothing here that has that. So we're just on the way. So then we're creators. And uh, we're just doing the best we can to just help however we can to less intention. I partner a lot with the Pride Community Center here. Um, so we're all about inclusivity and acceptance of just everything. So our tagline is mainly weird but not broken. So <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. such, a, such a good group. It is. <clears throat> that is. How big? How big is uh, Copper's Grove? Copper's Copper's Grove. Copper's Grove. So right now we're steady at about forty-five thousand people, with hmm. uh, new builds projecting us being into the seventy thousand by the next two or three years. Wow! And nothing like a community type center or nothing like that that 
that that you're building? Nothing at all. They're wow. um, they lack with support because of how many people in this community are um, veterans. We have a lot mm -hmm. of of people that don't need to pay property taxes. So those taxes go to funding things like this. And there's just nothing here for like that. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. One of the things that it's, it's just, it lacks, you know, we have a very limited budget. Um, I'm coming up actually having an interview with the city because they have funds that they provide for nonprofits, almost like a reimbursement type of program. And I'm trying to navigate myself through that. So that way I can read it. So other people in the bearding community can also navigate through things like that. And I can teach right. other people, this is how you can go about getting these funds. This is how, you, so it's Create just a a been a whole learning process. This is my That's first awesome. time doing all of this. Like I've already had to cancel in a bit. It's such a big learning curve because you don't know what you don't know. So with that, you said you said you had to cancel an event. Is that different from the uh, your beard and mustache event, or is that the event in which you were referring yes. to? Yes. So because originally that was set yes. up. Yes. So my for nonprofit. Last weekend. Yes. So we had kind of switched spots. So I had a friend of mine that had an idea, and we were going to do a disc golf tournament, and we were going to help. We were hoping to help yeah. at least eighteen different nonprofits. But it just didn't work out. Like things weren't lining up. I had a really bad feeling about it. I just, I just felt like, hey, we had an opportunity where we needed to kind of like take a step back and take a big look at the big picture. And I know we have to do that a lot, being in nonprofits, being in the bearding community. I had to reschedule my event from this past weekend to the end of the month, which is 28th, and and we took a big plunge trying to do that. I mean, a lot goes into the bearding community. And that's why I feel like the bearding community really needs a lot of awareness. That people need to be out there saying, hey, do you know about the bearding community and what they do for everybody? Because you guys are really the shining stars of the nonprofit world. And I just think that you guys get so, like, I don't, I'm just all about you guys. I'm all about the bearding community. I'm all about helping and what the, Bearding community stand for it, and it just inspired us here in Copper's Cove to expand on that and do a lot more here. Well, you it's are definitely, cool. yeah, you're freaking doing it. You are yeah. doing it, and and it's not a you guys in the beer community. You are 110 percent in the beer community, so it's not you guys. It's us. It's, we are happy to we, have you. That's it's a we, sure. not 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 you guys, or like you're not inspired by us. We're all inspired by you. As for well. sure, like you're freaking doing it. So it, you're involved. You are 100 percent in in the thick. You have beard trophies in like close to you. You are very much in the beer community. So don't forget that. So it's not you guys. It's you too. You are also one of us. So official member. <clears throat> Thank you. You're welcome. I um. Growing up, like not knowing where you fit in and not ever really having it because I was so odd and I was always doing something different or saying the wrong things to, and like learning from all of this stuff. It's just been a great road. And thank you for saying that, because sometimes you just don't ever know. Sometimes you just need that extra little bit of reassurance that you're right where you need to be at. So thank you. you are. You are exactly where you need to be. You found your people. You're you're definitely figuring you're out your purpose. You did it. Hold you on. are you are enriching your community. You did it. Period. So that's 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 what the community is all about. You're you're a poster child. <laughs> you're a poster child. Good you job, are. Mickey. Right now, no, you're but a Natalie poster. is. Speaking of Natalie being a poster child, do you want to get rad. started talking about the bearding activity book? And what is this bearding activity book? Let's hear all about it. Let's go. It is so, awesomeness on paper. <laughs> Natalie. So after this is like a fun story. So I reached out to Natalie 
and it was right after her surgery and you don't ever really know what to say so in a way i was like kind of fishing like trying to get details like to see what she really wanted to talk about like what i needed to do um so i just started asking questions let's just kind of like because I know when I live through pain and I have lots of stuff going on in my head and, and things, sometimes I just need distractions. So I asked her, I said, well, what do you do? You know, are, do you craft? Do you watch TV? And I was like, well, do you do, you know, like, do you like word puzzles? Do you like word searches? Do you like crosswords? Do you like coloring? And, um, when i got all the answers i felt like i needed to have i knew what i wanted to do and i wanted to make a coloring book and um but not just any coloring book like an activity book something that was also going to educate the community about what bearding is the faces behind bearding what we do why we do it so i created lots of different puzzles to kind of give them keywords about what the bearding community stands for I wanted to kind of, it's published under education and art. So it gives us an opportunity to really just inspire, especially me being a beer, uh, a barber. Uh, I, I wanted coloring books for my shop, for my kids to color it, you know, uh, and be able to take home. So I'm definitely excited to honor the bearding community. And it was really started as a Christmas present for Natalie because I wanted to give her something to do. Uh, it was right after surgery. And what I thought was going to be just like, oh, I can do this. I can use an app for this and an app will do it. No big deal, right? Well, every single app I downloaded was just, ugh, I didn't like it. It didn't. Mm -mm. It didn't sit right with me. It was, it felt like cheating. So I sat down with my friends over at Rainbow Heart Studio and I was like, there just has to be something. So my friend Jonathan found me a program where I was able to go by hand and trace out phot photographs of our friends in the bearding community. And that turned into what we have now. So I dedicated our first issue to natalie currently what this is going to do is they're going to be sold for 22 dollars each so that's less than a dollar a page and whatever proceeds we raise after the publication of this book me and natalie are going to be splitting it down the middle and half of those proceeds are going to go to a uh, building a community center fund and the other half is going to go to natalie to help cover all of her medical expenses um, so. The link should be available to a lot of different people. Uh, the more that we sell, it's it's going to be great. Right now, I'm just going to be selling them in directly through Not Rich But Enriched. When and there'll be cash apps and stuff available. Um, and uh, then, sorry, I just saw Terry pop up. Hi, Terry. I love you so much. Joey's in this in this right activity there. book too. The stoic yeah, one. So, yes. Um, so what I did was is I just wanted to make sure that, that you could find these people. So even at the back, there's QR codes to find everyone. It takes you and each on each page, there should be a QR code on the publication where it takes you directly to that person's page or the photo. It's just a really great interactive way to incorporate people that don't really know too much about the bearding community and really like inspire them to get to know more. So, and then it's also because you can hand it to friends and families and this is just the first issue. I plan on making more issues. So if anybody ever wants, so wants cool. to be a part of it. My, so cool. Yeah. This so is, my this next is my issue favorite is gonna page be, right here. The design your own yeah. beard bottle page. <laughs> Oh it. yeah. Yeah. So I came up with that because I was looking for like stuff in the beard community, but I wasn't quite for sure if I could use um particular brands without getting their permission and without it being kind of like a theft of the logo. Yeah, but this is so perfect. Right I here. This, it's that's perfect. Right? For yeah. kids, right? That's what I thought too. Yeah. Like it was just kind of like pulling it all together. Uh that was probably made about three o'clock in the morning. 
Because you and I was messing with stuff, and it was it was really cool to create this and kind of make it interactive. I really had kind of a hard time a couple of times, and where I just had to like throw my phone to the side and be like, I'm just gonna work on this later. It's really frustrating. <laughs> and like, right. but I mean, to be at the tail end of it and like go through the whole journey of, of each and every single page and getting to talk to each person and just kind of setting it all up. I'm just, I'm, I'm really excited to see what it comes to. And every single version of this first issue that's sold will, is completely gonna be dedicated and half of it's gonna be dedicated to Natalie. And I'm just That's super awesome. excited that um, she was really the inspiration to doing all of this. That's super <laughs> rad. So when does the so when does the pre-sale take place for this thing? Uh, it actually can start now. Um, I'm going to be posting some stuff over this next week. Um, who I did talk to a couple of different people. Well, I'm not going to name names or throw them under any any buses. I did talk to a couple of people, and I think there were maybe like a, going to be posting it on a couple of different competitive bearding pages. I'm not, but I don't. I like I said, I don't want to like over like step out of bounds and say something that I shouldn't be in like speaking out of well, turn. You, but you can 100 um, percent. I it know on that for sure beard. it's going to be All on beard. not rich but enriched. Oh, I'm sorry. It's for sure going to be on not rich, but enriched page. Yeah. And and you can also do whatever you want on talking beards. And Chris said, uh, please post on Natalie's competition page as well. I don't, Perfect. I don't think, I don't think I, I, I would be super surprised if anybody was like, you, you can't post this here because this thing's for awesome. Sure. This thing is super awesome. You should be so proud of this everything you did like this thing is super cool i've kind of i've i've kind of flashed through everything like as you were talking if there's any oh my gosh we lost her it. we oh. are definitely don't worry andrea we're getting at least a couple of these yeah this thing <laughs> so. awesome. and and i and I know Nikki's going to push back on this, but Natalie's already said that she doesn't, she wants all of her proceeds from this book to go to uh, not rich, but enriched in their, in their missions for down there to, to help, uh, you know, community center. That community center going. So yeah, yeah, Nikki will never know. Hey, she's back. Yep. Shh. Hey, <laughs> how's it going? You all right? You guys. Oh man, uh, this storm is epic outside. So is it, it's <laughs> it super must, storming, it huh? Oh man, but yeah, it's it was super. It was super interesting to like learn and be able to create this. It was really meditative, just kind of like the wall behind me, like just being able to do something and just it, it was really fun. I didn't expect to get as many yeses that. Um, that I did. I honestly expected to get a, several no's. So when everybody was like, yes, please. Oh yeah, that's cool. But I also kind of in a really um, liberal way, I uh, I made the coloring page first and then asked for permission. Like, look, can I use this? And uh, I do have videos and like snippets of how, how like the mini things went, but yeah. I have a hard time believing you're going to get anybody to say no. Please don't immortalize me. Yeah, in don't don't put me in the super awesome <laughs> activity book. I don't want to be involved yeah. with this amazing. I mean, you even got gobble. Freaking go. That storm is whooping her butt down there. I knew it was storming. It was storming his, his I think, little tail I think off, the but... storm is whooping Goebbels' beard and, and over there and uh, taking her off the air. It's, Look at that. You know? She'll probably yeah, pop over right there in the corner and stuff. <laughs> yeah, she, she'll be back. I she don't will. know. And She's then back she already, is. maybe. She's already back. Yeah. It's fine. There she is. So what is going on? Why do you keep getting kicked off? Is it just because it's storming and it's disconnecting you or what? Yes. Uh, Me too, Jeff. Oh, yeah. The, uh, Jeff just uh, saw Riley Gif Griffin's page. Riley Page. That's Let's cool. See. He's yeah. so fun. Yeah. That's super awesome. So that 
I had to put him in. I had to. And the reason why is because (laughs) he won best in that best in show that he won was at my very, very first comp. And man, I didn't. (laughs) That's awesome. Uh, That year, that year, man, that I to, to turn into what it is now and what it's just so cool. So like to have Riley, to have that picture, um, Omar is a really good friend of ours in the bearding community. He's our photographer and he just, he just shot some amazing shots and uh, Omar's information is available on uh, the last page of this QR code, like with the QR code. So it's on there. Yeah, There's that info's one. on there. There it is. <clears throat> he also yeah. shot, oh my gosh, there's so many good ones. This one? Yeah. He took that one? Most oh. of them were Omar's. Not that one. No, that was the so, selfie. So how was that to trace? <sighs> there I, is so- I almost thought about going back and like taking away from the beard. But then I looked at it and I was like, no, it's when different. It has character. I love her. She has such an amazing soul. I'm so glad all the people that I've gotten to meet in in this community. <laughs> Y'all are all really rad. I'm was really that an excited. older picture? Of I'm sorry. Christine? I said, yes. was that an older picture of Christine? Yes. I, I actually reached out to her and I said, hey, I'm working on this project. And I would really like your, what would you like to send me? What do you want to be in? So there's several people that I just kind of picked for them, but Christina was one of the people that I'm like, what do you want me to show? That's cool. That looks like a 2019 Vancouver comp, Christine. That's what I was thinking for sure. 2019. That's where I met her. That's why I'm saying that. Because oh, that, okay. that's what it looks like. <laughs> wow, you super know Christine Hackman's yeah, beard journey. You're I like, do. That was the beard she wore on uh, February 14th, 2017, for sure. That was that beard. I mm. love her. You know She's that cool. I reached out yes. to her and I said, uh, hey, for, if I were to get some money together and to get you down here to Copper's Cove, would you teach us hands-on classes to create the the beards. Yeah. Um, so as a barber, we've learned stuff like man weaving or um, creating hair and then some other things with tattoos and it's called um, micropigmentation to create hairline for men. Well, because I work so closely with the Central Texas Pride Community Center, um, we have a lot of trans um, young adults that have a lot of body dysmorphia and to create these beards for them to allow them to present in the way that they can while they have the opportunity to do so. And she was like, absolutely. You can send me. And she's like, and if you can't get me down there, send me the dimensions and I'll make, I'll whip one up for you and I'll send it down. Dude, that's super cool, man. How awesome is that? Wow. You know, because we do, you know, trans identification is really a big thing right now. It's, Mm -hmm. it's a lot in, everywhere so like to have a a bearding activity book that has like these these amazing whiskerinas that really just are doing it for fun and crafting and then to have somebody like christine hackman who does things for movie theaters and plays and theater it's just so outstanding i love it i i didn't even think about that aspect of it but you're right like there there's some really powerful stuff that could come out of, you know, things that we just take for granted within the beard community. So that that's beautiful, Completely. Nikki. I like that. I like that a whole lot. When I she, when I shaved my mustache off for charity, she made me a new one. <laughs> she did. And then you forgot to wear it. And I did totally forget to wear it. So Nikki, this was a whole thing. So we were at, at <laughs> Sean's comp. He shaved it on stage on Saturday night. So she oh, made him an identical mustache that he was going to just put on and wear for the Sunday brunch and just wasn't going to say anything about it and just see, you know, who, who called him out on it or, or whatever happened. But he freaking forgot it. He didn't even wear it. I did not get ruined. It. Isn't it a frame I did not somewhere? get too drunk the night before and was so hungover. I forgot a mustache. It didn't happen. No, that, that would <laughs> never happen, Sean. That's never. 
That would right. be. I need to see pictures of that. That'd be interesting. I and actually. See, so I, I did. So cool. I did wear the mustache. Uh, on the next show that I did, because we were we were doing. Um, it uh, was that. That was was that bantering beards or big sexy side? It was one it was two. one of the two. It was either bantering beards or or I did wear it on oh, the show God. and got a lot of comments. So yeah, uh, it, was, cool. it was a good time. It was a good time. You Sean looks good people. as a whaler. You should bring I'm, it a, I, I'm not sure if Shannon and them are gonna get to make it out. I know that one of them's coming, the clinks are coming out for my comp. Nice. It's gonna be really good to see them. I I think they mentioned that maybe one of them wasn't gonna be able Your to be. Yeah. Speaking That's of, coming up. That's coming up soon. We, yeah. we got we got a few minutes left on the show. Uh, yeah. Tell us tell us about this thing. I don't I don't have a whole lot of news and information written down. As you could tell during yeah. the during mm -hmm. the you know the intro when I just spaced and was just making shit up and you were laughing at me. Yeah. So tell us. I know it's in Nolanville, Texas. Was it April twenty sixth? Right? Yeah, uh, so mm -hmm. it's kind of like an all weekend long affair, just like beard comps usually are. Mm -hmm. So it's going to start on Friday. We're going to do a pre party uh, karaoke for a cause, uh, lighting, singing the way to mental health awareness. Um, we are going to do $5 a song as a donation. Uh, by the end of the night, we're still going to have voting. The first vote is for free. The any vote after that is a dollar a vote after that. So um, these are paid votes for the karaoke. They, they can be paid, paid votes. votes. You can either do your one free vote or you can get a little bit extra in for your favorite one or a friend or whatever. And, and or a lot a dollar extra. or two or however many you want, yeah. $20. Hundred. You know, It'd be great, mm -hmm. you know, and, and somebody's going to win some money by the end of the night. And um, it would be the best performance whoever is chosen out of the crowd um, off of, based off of votes. Um, and all that money is going to roll over to the next day on Saturday, which is uh, the main the main event. And the main event are is the beard and stash competition. We have about 50, uh, we have 13 categories for that. And then we have the car and bike. And there's 20 categories for the car and bike show. We have a little under 40 vendors that are going to be out there, including food trucks. Um, yay, super cool, super great. Uh, we had a, a lot of fun last year. Uh, it's a very big presentation. We're gonna have some live auctions. We have lots of raffles on my table right now. Um, Honest Amish, Honest Amish got us they are sending stuff for our winners we actually have trophies this year let whoever came to our event last year uh we made our trophies last year and it just wasn't as we expected how how everything was supposed to go but uh needless to say we bought trophies this year we learned our lesson and uh then Sunday, trophies are cool too but, yeah May trophies were really cool um we didn't anticipate for them to blow away though Oh, yeah, that's that's got to be a problem. Yeah, you know, sometimes we trophies have, we have blow away. Too. We I forgot to give sure. the ribbons last year. It It is truly an extravagant shit show. But it's the, yeah. what I always tell people, it's the good shit that you, you the manure that grows all yeah. these beautiful flowers and grows. And your we know now balloons. no balloons on outdoor comps. <laughs> I mean, it's weird. Fun. Yeah, it was just. A, it's, but anyway, so this year. We have uh, so many gifts from so many. We um, we have friends that operate the metaphysical store down the way from us, and they've been a huge support to us. And we have small businesses that donated a lot of the items that are going to be going to our winners. Cool. We should be having like glasses that have um, first place. So our first place gets a lot more, of course, but our second and third places aren't going to be forgotten. And we are doing that from 11 to 6 in Nolanville at the pit stop. Parking is going to be right across the street at Sandy's, just like it was last year. Uh, if you'd like to pay to park, you can pay $25 to park in the same parking lot with the show cars. I wouldn't mind that, but I will charge you. Um, it's all for charity. I'm not saying Great that. Cause. Need, Great cause. But we're, we're trying to make money. Um, we are raising money for Project Healing Heroes and uh, the Negrete Firefighter Foundation. 
Um, she's amazing. Uh, Maria reminds me a whole lot about like me. She is local to Copper's Cove. Um, her son, Jose Negrete, passed away in 2020. He was a firefighter. He died from cancer. Um, it was really hard. So she created this foundation to raise money to pay for people to go to the fire academy. And that is just really near and dear to my heart. Um, my dad, when he was nine years old, lost his mother and his baby sister in a house fire in Tennessee right before Christmas. So, and then after my, uh, after we lost my cousin and when he took his life in, um, in Tennessee several years back, um, my uncle's house also caught on fire right after that. Damn. So firefighter is a big thing to me, but of course, Project Healing Heroes. Now, Project Healing Heroes helps uh, medical, uh, well, emergency first responders and combat veterans prevail over PTSD, which my dad was a Vietnam veteran. And these just all hit so close to home for me. So I'm excited to be able to raise money again. Uh, we had other organizations in the past, but this year I'm just really super excited about it. So I'm really hoping that we get lots of people so we can continue helping them also help other people. And then Sunday. Sunday. Not done yet. Not, not yet. Not done yet. So a friend of mine, his name is Rooster Sample. He uh, owns, he does Blue Rooster Customs. He's a pinstriper. He does, he's also a yoga professional. So we are going to be doing a yoga class in Copper's Cove, which uh, it's open to anybody that wants to come. It's going to be at my house. But if not, go, Sean, go do somebody some yoga, is going yoga to at yoga. your house. Yeah, I'm, go, I'm booking that. go and we'll be doing yoga at my house while other people may be having breakfast with friends. And that's totally fine. We don't mind whatever anybody wants to do on Sunday, but I'm going to be doing yoga at my house on on Sunday morning. After can we eat breakfast while doing yoga? Huh? I said, can we eat breakfast while doing yoga? Well, I figured we would probably have waffles after that. Yes. You, could, you, so could like definitely, you could definitely eat waffles yeah. and do yoga. I'm in. Yeah, time. waffles are the greatest okay. thing ever. We love doing waffle bars. We just did that yesterday, <laughs> actually. Um, it, it's just so much fun to do breakfast at any time. I'm what a British it, person. What is a waffle bar? So a waffle bar, so we create different like waffles, Belgian waffles. And then we put a side of sides where you can pick all of your toppings, whatever you want to put on it or in it. And we have like places for you to make your custom batter. <laughs> waffles are amazing. You, you, we do, we do a big with breakfast. We love breakfast here. So yoga, yoga, waffle, yoga, breakfast at Nikki's house on Sunday. Yes. yes. After the comp. My God! Yeah. After you spend all that money on parking, and and donate just a bunch of money anyway, I yeah, would you, hope so. Yeah, you sing all day Friday. Yeah. You you do a a beard and motorcycle and a car show all day Saturday. Yeah, my you, moped's gonna be there. You're are you showing your yes. moped? Yes, I have a cooter scooter. Gosh, that's awesome! <laughs> Hold up, Rooster is coming oh. and he's gonna pinstripe it. Sean wants to know what a cooter scooter is. Do we even are we even allowed it's like to a touch Vespa. on that? It's a Vespa. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, but it's my cooter scooter, and I scoot my coot to work from my house. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the old I'm gonna put it on the tailgate. This is yes. a cooter scooter. Cooter scooter. Oh, it sh it needs to be on there. Oh, for, it has to be for sure. Totally. Yeah, absolutely. But um, we're gonna have super great judges. We have six judges lined up that are supposed to be here. Um, Nolanville, so Texas. Brad. Yeah. And then we have two great MCs. So Jeff Harris is going to be one of our MCs. The other okay. MC is actually a surprise. Okay. Top secret second MC. Top secret surprise. Okay. Because I've been told no. The so so really are they taller or shorter than Jeff Harris? Much taller. Wow. Well, that's not really saying much. Yeah. So it could be anybody that narrowed it down to nobody. I will narrow it down for you. I'll give you a hint for anybody okay. that was at my comp last year. This person was the first person 
to compete in my event. Like the first, it was a first time thing at any beard comp. Dang. I don't know. Yeah, it's okay. Well, it's not T-Had because T-Had's shorter than uh, uh, Jeff Harris probably. Nope. It's going to be a first time again this year though. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's ever been done. And if it has been, well, somebody correct me later. Well, but Jeff uh, Harris, it's going to be the first time for any beard comp ever. Jeff Harris said that, oh, where'd he go? He said that you are truly an amazing person for letting him MC after hearing his voice. Yes. <laughs> I love for that. Sure. For so sure. So then we have, we have <laughs> Terry, that's going to be one of our judges. We have the Fontes. We have Phyllis. And we have Buffon. And then we have, gosh, who else? Oh, oh, Don Wayne is coming. Shea Butter? Don Wayne is gonna be here. Did you, did you know that his family created Shea Butter? Shea He's Butter. like a multi yeah. multi-millionaire. Yeah, his family yeah. owns Shea Stadium where the Mets play in New York. And he still delivers That's mail. Wild. I know. You're and the most chill person. He's like the chill. chill. I yep. love no. Don. And Don he is just so amazing. And he just and delivers have... mail like it doesn't even matter. Well, the fun of it, he doesn't even collect a check for that. No, he just does it for fun. Allie's gonna be a judge. I don't know if I said her already. Allie Cat. Allie Cat. Allie what? Cat's gonna be a judge. Oh, Robert Rainey. Robert Rainey Jr. Yes. Oh my goodness. Robert Rainey. Yeah. Tall. He's taller yeah. than uh, Jeff Harris as well. Yeah. Yeah. I hear I'm he's really sponsored excited. by a big sexy beard brand. Is he? Also, we're gonna be doing a free. We're going to be doing a free gift card for um, for $50, free Amazon, $50 Amazon card. All you have to do is either scan the QR code at the, at the raffle table or write down your, your name, email, and your zip code. And you don't have to be there to enter, but if you're at the event, if you do it that day, you get a free ticket into a free $50 gift card. There's no payments, no anything. And what that's gonna do is help me build data to see how far people come from so I can present it later on to the city because they wanna know that stuff. Yeah, it's absolutely. Important. Like they if do. anybody's having a beard comp, maybe this next couple of weekends, try to figure out where people are coming from because. Cities will pay you because you're bringing people from out of town. That is something 100%. I have so many friends that travel out here and I just want people to see the reach. I want people to understand it. So I hope we can do it. Drea Glander wants to know, can she send you her information? Absolutely. So oh, show, add me on Facebook. There you go. I don't She's pretty. I can vouch for her. She's pretty cool. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. I think. Anybody that's cool with any of any of you guys is cool with me. I don't. I make my own decisions about people. <laughs> except I'm a except big girl. for Brad. Except for Brad Felipe Paternic. We don't like him. He smells like Fago. Well, I don't even know what yeah. that is. Exactly. Thank you guys so much for having exactly. me on. There's <gasps> Andrea Glander. There's Andrea Glander right, hey, right there. live on the show. <laughs> Look at her. I mean, she is. I do like the purple, and I don't think. And I think that vintage is cool. Vintage. <laughs> I love it. Thank you guys so much. I can hear our show out there too on her phone, I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nikki, I know we could just keep talking to you for the rest of our lives. We we love you. Thank you for everything you, you do. Keep up all the good work. Keep not sleeping. Everybody go out and get the Bearding Activity book. It is available for order now. Go to where do they need to go to to get this? Hit you up on Facebook or whatever right now. Is that they can hit me up on Facebook right now? But I'm going to create a link on Not Rich But Enriched and then share it to wherever I can share it. And then whoever wants to share it on top of that, that would be absolutely amazing. I we'll I hope sure. that the word gets out. Um, the word will get officially published. Yeah. You you are an author now. You are a published author. And and eventually there'll be a like legit legit link that's and then yeah. the book will come from the publisher and it'll be, you know, completely yeah. 
legit deal and you you won't even have yep. to do anything. But the first hundred yep. you're gonna take care of and everybody of. can rush out and get the first few copies. And you and better then, hurry because I'm they, gonna order a few. They should be available at the extravagant shit show. There you go. And then you can get Nikki to autograph your copy since she's an author now and she's super famous and we need to get well, her autograph while we still have her before she's too big. Go ahead. Well, maybe you can get autographs from the people that might be there and making their appearance as well. Nah, yeah. just yours. Just yours. I don't mind. <clears throat> Nikki, cool. thank you for coming by. Thank you for, uh, you know, dodging all the glitches and the crazy storms oh. and i hope you have a, a safe drive home i'm glad you're not on the cooter scooter you are not an automobile yeah and everything you do for your community yeah that's man. freaking you're... amazing thank you guys Super for right. everything you guys do for our community thank you so much for having me on you guys i hope you have to all have a great night and whoever watched and participated thank you so much for all the love absolutely thank you nikki talk to you later there you go, everybody. The Bearding Activity Book by the one and only Nikki Rizzola. Be on the lookout for that link. Coming soon. Yes. I will share the heck out of it. Talking Beards will share it. I'm sure. Blanton's on ice, Eric. It'll all be shared. It, Blanton's click the on link, ice. Clink it. But everybody. Wow, what a show. I knew that go was going to happen. Buy five activity books. I think that's what you should do. 100%. I think I'll put this out there. <clears throat> Everybody that's having an upcoming beard competition with a kids category, maybe you get three activity books to give away to the kids. I've seen that or, in the comments. Yeah, I also saw that in the comments. That was where I got the idea. Super good idea. Great idea. <clears throat> it goes full circle. You're helping out the beard community while giving the kids a super cool activity book that they'll cherish forever. So, uh, yeah, man, what what a show. What an amazing! It was guest. fun, yeah, very man. fun. She's super, super cool. great. But everybody, I, I, go ahead, John. I do want to put a shout out to. Oh, where where are we at? Here it is, Eric. Thanks for being hey, here, and also thanks for letting me off every Tuesday so I can be here with everybody. That's hey, is that your boss? <laughs> thanks, Eric. We appreciate you, man. We uh, <laughs> we love Sean and and appreciate him being involved in his super cool pink. I mean, purple room. Purple room. Purple it can room. change colors. I'm just not pushing those buttons right now. Heck no, it's a purple room and it doesn't need to be changed. <laughs> thank you, Eric. Legit, thank you. We appreciate it. Um, what else? And everybody else for being here. Thank you. We appreciate yeah. you. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. I mean, this has been a great show. I we enjoyed had, it. We had people watching on Twitter and Twitch the we entire did. show. We Five did. people on Twitter. Show. Thank you, Twitter people. And uh, yeah, I didn't do this at the top of the show. If you want to go over to honestamish.com, you can use promo code TALKINGBEARDS and you can save 15% off of your order. And if, you, and if you order over $35 within the continental United States, you can also get free shipping. And don't forget to go to this one as well. Go for it, Sean. What do you got? Anything? Uh, we will probably making be making a Talking Beards <laughs> code really soon as well, but... Hey, if you want to go right now, get on uh, Big Sexy Beard Brand on Facebook. I'm sure you can find a lot of codes you can use as well. Use all the codes. Go get all the good <laughs> beard stuff. Support the people that are uh, doing their best to support everyone. And uh, Oof. don't forget to uh, get registered for this one as well. I think all you got to do is pretty much just put a picture on the event page and uh, you give your money to who the 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 link i don't even know it's on there it's in the about section there and it goes to like time. may of 2028 so <clears throat> we're, we're yeah, gonna man. get your pictures in plenty of time to go plenty of time so yeah everybody thank you for watching we greatly appreciate everybody and all the support we get and uh yeah talk of beers 2.0 we did it uh we are three on our way of sean glander so everybody have a great night and uh, i said everybody a bunch natalie points that out that's it. Because we love everybody. We do. So. We love everybody. Have a Enjoy great night. Week. Okay, bye. Bye.